What's up everyone, Majin Tosh here bringing you a quick tutorial video on how my group beats hard mode Oryx. Um, a lot of people seem to be having a lot of trouble with this, uh, so we wanted to show off our strategy and show you that you don't need everyone to be over 310. So uh, you see me just drop my light level down. I also have everyone in this group be under 310 just to show you that it can work even if you haven't gotten good drops throughout the raid or with a slightly under leveled group because this fight is at a higher level. Um, the only thing that's really changed in the fight is the four knights which I will be showing as it happens. Um, I'll be showing that and I'll also show you what the floater should do. Everyone else should be the same. Three people should be on platforms and then you'll have one spark runner, one guy on knight duty and one floater. Now for the person on night duty. This person should stay on top of these platforms for the majority of the fight and always go to the opposite side of wherever Oryx goes. Um, not much can hit you up here, but some ads will. Just make sure you're careful and pay attention to your life. Your job is to kill all four of the knights after the ogres are dead and nothing else. Make sure those knights die. First things first, you want to kill the very first ogre that comes up with your teammates. Team shot him. And then as soon as the knight spawns in the opposite corner from wherever that ogre was, kill him right away with a few headshots. And then make sure the next ogre is dead if you have to. And then look to the next corner to make sure that knight dies right away. Doing this means that your teammates don't have to focus on the knights and everyone can focus on killing the ogres fast. The ogre on the right's already dead, the third one, so I shoot that one. And you see my team kills the fourth one right away. They do very good damage on the ogres. And make sure when that last one comes, you don't jump down right away. You make sure that that last knight is dead before you go anywhere. I honestly wouldn't even worry about Oryx's chest. Uh, hopefully your team will have good enough DPS, but you can jump down in time to shoot it if you need to. I don't. I like to focus on the adds for my teammates and let everyone else shoot at his chest since I know they have enough DPS. That way, when they run out to their bombs, there's not a lot of things that are trying to kill them. Um, since this is hard mode, if one person dies and they don't have self-res, they are dead the entire time and it will usually result in a wipe. So um, you and your team should do whatever you need to do to make sure that everyone survives. And now for the floater. The floater's job is very important because with a lot of people being underleveled in these raids, uh, you want to make sure that no ogre is being shot by only one person. You want to make sure all ogres are being team shot. And that's what the floater will do. The floater can be any of the people who stand on the platforms, any of those four people, and it will always be the person who has the last platform, the one with the spark above it. No one needs to step on that platform, so that person effectively becomes the floater. With uh, having someone who's taking out the knights, dedicated to the knights, no one has to worry about that. So um, <clears throat> you'll see everyone's on their platform. My platform is the fourth one with the spark above it. Don't need to be there. You'll also see that there's three, four people on the left, one's up top. One guy's on the right by himself. The person who is by themselves, since there's three people on the platform, someone will always be by themselves. That's the person that needs help the most. So as a floater, always burn down the first ogre. You'll, have, you'll be shooting at it, the person up top will be shooting at it, and the person's platform. That's three people. Now, the third ogre will be coming up, so I skip the second ogre because you have two people on those platforms. Two people will shoot that ogre, the two people over there. Me and the guy on the third platform will shoot this ogre, team shot it, and then we will turn around and kill the last ogre, me and that guy. If everyone else is done with their jobs, they can come over and help like so, and you'll see all ogres died fairly quickly within their corner. We had three or four shooting the first ogre. Um, three, then two shooting the second ogre, two shooting the third ogre, and then two, and then more people coming to shoot the last one. I've seen a lot of fire teams try and solo their ogres and then solo their knights, but no one can solo their ogre good enough, so you have four ogres running around rampant, it becomes too hectic and everyone wipes. With this strategy, the knights become a non-factor for most of the team, allowing everyone to team shot the ogres so they die quicker, and it allows for better survivability for everyone on the team. You can also, don't forget to use your heavies, use your supers, put a bubble, weapons of light, or blessing in the middle if that will help you. And this fight should become very easy. Go kill Oryx, get that loot, I'm out.